in that video. Um, sure, it's so windy in Cape Town. It's it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Um, I mean, I know what's happening. The wind tends to pick up around November, um, which isn't ideal because the you know it's sunny and it's warm, but you don't want to go outside because you might blow away. Anyway, um, not relevant at all for today's video. So for today's video, I really need to clean my makeup brushes. I just have to. Um, it's like long, long overdue. And I thought, okay, cool, um, let me film it because I kind of want to do a little test. So I have this new little black cleaning brush mat um, that I got and I kind of want to try it out so I'm gonna kind of wash my brushes like I've always done and then I'm gonna try and wash it with this this mat and then I kind of want to compare and see like does it really make a difference or can you just like wash the brushes um, like on your hand or whatever um, so yeah I don't have like a fancy you know way of cleaning my makeup brushes I also don't use like a specific like brush cleaner um, I know you do get so many um, but I've always just used normal dish soap for my brushes um, and I think it's more of the way you clean it than necessarily what you use to clean your brushes I know um, that you do get a lot of antibacterial washing products that you can use like I don't know vinegar and stuff but I do also know that if the product is that strong it might hurt the bristles as well as the glue that holds all the bristles so and you know you don't want that either because then later on you can have nothing left so um, I trust the good old kind of dish soap it's not too strong but it is antibacterial so what you can also do is you can kind of gently wash it with that and then afterwards just brush it through some micellar water which you know we tend to use on our face to take off any makeup um, and you know micellar water is quite gentle on your face so it will also be gentle on the brushes so i am only going to use sunlight liquid and then we can just rinse a little bit of micellar water through the brush so yeah, I'm just going to show you how I do it normally and then what it looks like when I use a little mat. And let's see if there's any difference to it. Okay, so let's go.
and productions are clean. Um, I must say it actually was like super quick compared to you know previous times I've done it. But what I can tell you from trying it out on my hand versus trying it on the little like mat, it is much more um, efficient on the little mat because firstly I don't think you scratching with soap in your palm is really good long term for your hands and then it just doesn't you know have enough kind of like friction if you will for the brushes to get kind of deep into the bristles um, if you just rub it on your hand where um, obviously that's why the mat has like uh, different patterns different size of patterns um, the smaller ones are for the eyeshadow brushes and stuff and then the bigger patterns are obviously for your foundation brush and the bronze brush um, it was very inexpensive um, the little like pink makeup brush cleaning mats um, I think it's by a brand called Nordic Beauty something like that um, but I got it off take a lot and I'll just link it in the box um, down below but it's nice and it sticks to the sink doesn't move around when you kind of like swirl the brush on the little mat and then like I said uh, I tend to find the sunlight liquid not like ruining my brushes or like damaging it at least for not for you know now those brushes aren't brand new I've had it for a while so they're still holding up so that's fine I know a lot of people use like a vinegar and stuff I just thought I'd skip on that one I just don't want to use it on my brushes and then yeah adding like a little bit of micellar water for you know like especially like the foundation brush that one like tend to like take a little bit longer and takes a little bit more effort to really get clean um, so for that I will then add the micellar water as well like one thing that you kind of saw is that I let the brushes hang over the towel to dry firstly I don't want it to like lie with the bristles on the towel um, I just don't think that's an efficient way of drying I mean first price would be if you can hang them upside down and dry just because I mean firstly it's an efficient way of drying them and secondly the water then has no way of creeping into the brush where the glue is um, where the bristles Kind of are stuck to the you know to the brush because over time if that keeps on getting wet and keeps on getting soap and whatever else um, it tend to like tear down the, the glue and you know ruin your brush so as much as you can avoid getting water and stuff to that part of your brush the better so that's why also it's nice with a little mat you swirl the brush upside down and then you kind of also try and rinse it upside down um, to get the least amount of water that's it I don't know why I don't do this more often it like took like a couple of minutes so yeah um, just like a quick little fun like DIY how do I clean my makeup brushes without actual makeup brush cleaning product like I said I haven't tested those out they are maybe brilliant a lot better than sunlight liquid but I don't have it I don't want to go and buy it right now I have to clean the brushes so for me this works but yeah um, hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you in my next video bye everyone